Look at how horrible that looks. This is maxed out graphics. Native resolution is dead. I'm claiming it right now. Native resolution is dead. There's literally zero reason to use native resolution with these newer games coming out. And as you can see, I got the game booted up right here with the second best graphics card in the world. We're getting around 30 FPS with all the settings maxed out. Now we're running 3440 by 1440p, which is 1440p, but in ultra wide settings. And then if we go to the advanced quality settings right here, we can see that everything is maxed out on here. Now, one important setting with this game that's kind of insane is that, so with the anti-aliasing in this game, I have TXXA on. And as you can see, the game looks great and pay attention to especially his hair. This is what his hair looked like. Look at the trees in the back. That's what they look like with TXA on. If we turn that off, and keep in mind, this is maxed out graphics with, um, you know, with ray tracing on, everything super high. If we turn this off, the game straight up becomes unbearable. Look at his hair. Look at how horrible that looks. This is maxed out graphics. We just don't have anti-aliasing on. And it makes the hair look incredibly horrible. Even like the ground shimmers, it, it's insane how... I think this is mainly an Unreal Engine issue. But like even the trees look horrible. And I had this issue also with um, Red Dead Redemption 2. Where if you turn off anti-aliasing with these newer games, they just look unplayable. Now for Red Dead Redemption 2, you can just do... um. There's a DLA mod that completely gets rid of it. But I don't know if this game has it, but it doesn't really need it. Because TXA actually gets rid of that. Properly. So I just want to show that off real quickly. But as you guys can see, with TXA on, we're getting around 30 FPS, which honestly isn't horrible for a slower paced game like this. But I just spent $3,000 on a computer. I want to get better frame rates. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to enable more frame rate, which is going to be DLSS. Now with DLSS, I used to be against it because I'm just like, ah, you know, you're just running the game at a lower resolution. Yes, you get better frame rate, but you're just lowering the resolution on it. But honestly, nowadays, there's no reason not to use it, especially if you have an NVIDIA graphics card with DLSS. So with DLSS quality, we go from 30 FPS to 65 FPS, and the game looks identical. It actually looks kind of better. I feel like the hair looks a little better, but we're getting 67 FPS. It dips to around like 47 when we're like moving around a lot. But besides that, I mean, the game looks identical. Like, I'm moving around. I don't see any artifacts or anything. I just enabled more frame rate. And you know what? Let's go a little bit further. Let's go from quality to, to balanced. The game looks identical. I don't see a single difference. And now we are at 78 FPS. So same exact quality. I don't see any like artifacts moving around. Maybe in the distant trees. Maybe there's some artifacts there. Here, let's try that out that real quick. This is what the game looks like with with on um, balance mode. And we're at what? We're at 78 FPS. And then we go to and now we're 50 FPS. Maybe that distant trees are a little bit sharper. Ultra performance. Now that's gotta look a lot worse, right? It looks the same pretty much. 96 FPS. Maybe his hair looks a little bit worse now. But god damn dude, there's literally no reason to use native resolution nowadays. Like again, if you're getting like 100 FPS, you know, just playing native resolution, then of course you don't really need to turn it on. But even if you're playing at ultra performance, okay, the, the, the grass here looks a little weird. So maybe, maybe for that, I see a little bit of shimmering if we go to... If we go to like um quality on here. Yeah, that got that got rid of that and that looks perfectly fine. We got 72. Oh my god. Like with a game like this, I mean like it's a slower paced game. I could honestly play this game at 30 FPS and be fine. But um I don't know, man. I feel like native resolution is kinda dead in my opinion. I mean again, if you're like getting 100 plus, then who cares do native? But like if you're getting like 40, 50 Maybe even like 60. It's it's good to just turn on DLSS just to get that extra 10, 20 FPS so you don't dip under 60 FPS when there's like too much action going on. But um, it's crazy, man. It's crazy to see how much 
this technology has evolved over the years. I literally went from, oh, I'll probably never use it unless if I'm using like a low-end graphics card. But nowadays, high-end graphics card. Yeah, perform Ultra performance doesn't look that good. It, it, you get a lot of shimmering. But quality mode, dude, there's no reason to not use it. Performance, got rid of the shimmering. And we're at 89, 90 FPS on here. It's like there, or I could just play at native resolution. And then we're at what? Actually, it's not that bad. So it's, we're getting 44 FPS, so it's not horrible. But um, still, there's no reason not to use, you know, quality mode on here. And then just get that 60 FPS besides 40 FPS. I mean, it's crazy. There's, like, no way to, like, tell the difference between them. Maybe even, like, balance. Wise. Balance looks really good. I don't really see much difference between balance and just, you know, playing the native resolution. So I'll probably keep it at quality just to be like safe so I don't get any artifacts at all. But it's crazy, man. Yeah, there's like no difference between this and the native resolution. It's insane. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you still use native resolution over using any of these like TLSS or FSR technologies? Because some people are just like, ah, don't play everything maxed out. Just lower the graphics, but keep it the native resolution. I'll say keep it at max that graphics, get all the ray tracing, you know, patch tracing bells and whistles with these games, and then use DLSS to bring the resolution back up to your native resolution and upscale it and then have it look amazing. You know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.